If you're tired of your basics feeling, well, basic, I'm going to show you how to shop your closet to create new outfits with your old basics. When I get bored of my basics, oh my god, how many times am I going to say that? I head to my saved style and spo folder on my phone, Pinterest, IG, or if I'm really feeling it, TikTok, and search specifically for outfits using the item I want to style. If I know I want to style a basic with a new item in my closet, I get even more specific and search for them together. It's kind of like you're working backwards to build a look. I almost always end up with a fresh take on a classic piece that I've owned for years. If you're new and you like the idea of shopping your closet or choosing creativity instead of consumption, hi, welcome, my name's Alyssa and I'm a slow fashion stylist. Stick around or hit subscribe if you like this video or if you just learned something new. The item I'm gonna look up is a basic black long sleeve tee. It's fall, so this is the perfect piece for a transitional season. I have two long black sleeve tees. One is actually a bodysuit with a deep V and the next is a merino crew neck. The looks I'm gonna shop my closet for today are all different. The first is really elegant, the second is totally outside my style comfort zone, and the third is minimal, but I'm still gonna make it my own. I'm not gonna carbon copy these looks, I'm really just trying to get myself out of the traditional ways that I've been wearing my long sleeve black shirts. You're not gonna believe me when I tell you this, but I have never thought to pair either one of my black long sleeve tops with my simple black bootcut trousers. I've only ever worn them in a more casual setting, so I like how this elevates them for a more elegant event. I'm gonna add my black textured and gold belt. This is actually a co-design of my own with Canadian company Brave Leather. Uh, yes, that was a shameless plug. I will leave the link in the description for you down below if you're interested. I'm also going to add some black patent pumps. I've had these for ages, but I like how the mix of textures here is making this look feel a little bit more interesting, even though it's all black. I'm gonna go with some more impactful jewelry, a little bit architectural, just to play into the whole drama of the look, especially because it's all black, and finish it off with this beautiful Farrah and Sloan bag. I'm gonna keep the fringe on there, it's got a lot of drama, so again, we're creating some more interest with this all black look. I'm pretty pleased with this one. I know it feels really simple, but I have not put this combo together before, and I'll definitely be wearing it when I have an opportunity to. This look is definitely a departure from my regular style, and I think in this TikTok the creator is actually wearing a long sleeve black dress. I'm gonna use my crew neck for this one since I like the high neck, and to get the whole little black dress effect, I'm gonna pair this with my black leather mini, and oh my gosh, try this ancient faux fur vest that I haven't worn in a very long time. I'm using a brown belt to create a little bit more contrast and color because obviously there is none right now. And just for fun, I'm throwing on this oversized denim jacket. Give it a little bit more texture, a little bit more layering. I'm not mad about this. I think the proportion play is cool. I love this look. Again, I wouldn't have put these together at all. I've never paired this black long sleeve basic with my leather mini or this vest, so this is a win for me. It's a new look. This look is really simple, but I haven't turned my black top into a crop top yet, so this is great. I'm gonna do that now. Paired it with my jeans, but I'm going heavy into the sporty vibe. I'm gonna put on my sneakers with this and add a ball cap. I'm doing this instead of adding that gold chain. I prefer accessories like a watch. Feels a little bit more like myself this way. And I'm gonna throw on my fanny pack as my accessory. Easy. I love this look. I can't believe I've never worn it before. I like the proportions of this look so much that I'm going to try and elevate it, but use the same proportions and silhouette. So instead I've got these brown wide leg trousers, I'm going to throw on some accessories that feel a little bit more chic and add my black flats. These were actually silver and I had them repainted into black. Love this. I'm adding my belt again to add some texture and just a little bit more contrast and interest in the look and here it is. I, this is great. I haven't put this together before either. I'm gonna go with the tan bag and really play up the contrast between the brown and the black. 
And again, just for fun, I want to see if I can turn this into a suit. No, the two tans don't match, but because of the break with my torso and the black in between, I think this is pretty successful. I also like to roll up my sleeves a little bit underneath so that we can really appreciate the layering. And there you have it, quick and easy, but that's all it takes. I wouldn't have come up with these looks without doing this exercise, and I didn't need to shop for anything to come up with new outfits that feel fresh and current to me. Shopping your closet doesn't have to be complicated or take too long. Let me know if there's another basic you want me to style this way, or if you do this already at home. Thanks so much for joining and for watching. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day or evening. Don't forget to give this video a like if you learned something new, or hit subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next slow fashion video. Ciao!